This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when I use S-Pivot, objects sometimes are not centered to the world. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and the question is asking about the S-Pivot functionality that lives in the Transform palette. So I'm going to navigate to the top here and open up the Transform tab here, and I'm just going to click this little button here, just dock that to the side. And in this transform palette, if we scroll down, there is this S pivot button. If you hover over this button and press control, you can get a description of this. So S pivot will allow you to define the center point of your model. So basically, if you have a sphere like this, and I come across and say, turn the floor grid on, and then go up here to the draw menu and open this up. And I'm just gonna go to this elevation here and turn this to zero. And now I'm going to look at the model from a top view. I'm going to switch to the Move Transpose tool, drag this out, and then just reposition the sphere off in the space like that. And now if I come over here to that Transform Palette and I click this S Pivot button, what this will do is it's going to take this mesh and then center it to the middle of the world. So it's going to look at the bounding box and center it. So if I come over here and click this, you're going to see that the sphere now has jumped right to the center of the world. Now, most of the time, this is the functionality you're going to find when you use this S Pivot button. So you click S Pivot, it's going to pop the mesh to the middle of the world. And then when you click C Pivot, the clear pivot option here, it's going to return the model back to where it was. Now, there is an alternate functionality with the S Pivot button that you can run into. So as an example of this, let's come across our model here. And I'm just going to have the standard brush selected. And I'm just going to be in draw mode here. And I'm just going to make a little dimple. So I'm just going to sculpt this area right here. Now, if you have sculpted on your model, and now you come over here and use this S pivot, instead of taking the model and using its boundary box and centering it to the world, it's going to now look at that last stroke you made. So it's going to look at the dimple that I just created on the model. And now if I click S pivot, it's now going to center the mesh based on that stroke. So as you can see, it has centered that sphere directly where I painted that stroke on the mesh. So that process again, let me just undo this here. So giving back to my sphere here. Now, most of the time you will not run into this because usually when you're using set pivot, you're just selecting a model, you're then clicking off the canvas, doing something like this. And then when you click S pivot, it's just gonna center the sphere. But if you have done any sculpting on your model, so say I come through and sculpted something, and now I click S pivot, it's going to look at that last area in which you touched on the model, and it's going to center that to the world. So if you're clicking S pivot and you're noticing that your model is not centering the world, that is the likely cause. So it's looking at the area that you sculpted on and then centering to that area. So to resolve this, if you've done sculpting, just click off your mesh and then click S pivot and then it should center it back to the middle of the model. Or you can just click S pivot again. So you can see this was the first S pivot. So it's centered that area I was sculpting on. And then if I click it again, it'll now use the model's center. So you can see now it has put it back into that position. Now this will not destroy your clear pivot, so you can press S pivot as many times as you want. And then if I press clear pivot, you can see now it's back to where it was. So if you've done sculpting and then you click S pivot, it's going to look at the position in which you last sculpted and then center that to the world. So just make sure that if you've done any sculpting on your model like this, that you click off your mesh or rotate around before clicking S pivot, and then that will center that model to the world there instead of centering it on the stroke that you just created. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.